It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, Heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero Wars Central coming to you live, kind of, from Fort Myers Beach in Florida. I'm on vacation. Hope everybody's having a great time because I know I sure am. We're going to talk about the news for October 26th. Some crazy stuff has happened, but I just want to put it out there that I will not be live streaming at my regular time this evening, uh, nor will I probably be live streaming tomorrow, Friday the 27th. I hit level 40. Uh, and uh, probably going to just take it easy, although I might find some time, but, uh, you know, we'll see. I want to start off today talking about Hero Wars Alliance news. We had this post uh, yesterday talking about this, you know, Aurora situation and, and all of that. Uh, it turns out there is a game called Dungeon Go or Great Dungeon Go. Uh, Great Dungeon Go apparently is also owned by Nexters. And it is a interesting kind of time-wasting kind of game that if you complete a couple of levels up to level 15, you get a couple of cosmetic-only items, a you know a Dracula-looking Galahad with an avatar and an avatar frame. Uh, go download and try out the game if you want. It, it doesn't actually change anything about your gameplay, but if you're looking for you know a little way to specialize or customize your account, that is one thing that you could do. Uh, of course, Octavia has been live for a little while now, or a day or two, and I am hearing some amazing things about it. I do think that maybe it could shake up the meta, though I'm going to have to spend a little bit more time doing some research myself in order to uh, give you any kind of idea on what teams to build. Uh, you know, sticker and dodge teams, you know, Aurora, Dante, you know, whatever, Heidi. And uh, I think you're going to have a lot of fun with her. I think it'll be a, a really... Uh, a really good time. The final bit of news is that Kayla was added to the Town City chest. I'm not sure why Aiden wasn't. Maybe they already were. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just, oh, maybe it's just the Super Chat, uh, the uh, Skin Plus. Uh, I don't know. What is this? What is this, Lord Honor? What's happening here? Anyway, over on Hero Wars Dominion Era, Facebook and web, we have Spooky Festival being live. It's finally here. A lot of fun to it. We've got a whole playlist uh, about, you know, the best things to buy, how to get through the Furnace of Souls the fastest, where all the mini games are. I'll publish that in the description box down below if you want to, you know, research all of that yourself. But I also wanted to discuss while we're here, I wanted to talk about the best things to buy from the Spooky Festival store. The uh, Chaos Particles are the absolute best buy only during the Kira event only to get Vex up to that level, take advantage of that Kira event. Uh, otherwise, you're going to want to get access to Song of the Valkyrie, Q to All Doors, Evil Genius Curus. Those are the most valuable items. The Skin Stones dropping down to 3,500 is uh, kind of a problem. It used to be, I think, 5,000 maybe Skin Stones. But um, they are a, a much lesser value. This is uh, this is linked in the description box down below. Thanks again to Calorie Fair for putting this math together. This is from the Hero Wars Guide uh, Emerald Resource conversion on their website. So yeah, good uh, good thing to good thing to know. I actually bought a Evil Genius Curus and a Song of the Valkyrie today. Now, as far as additional news, uh, you know we have Guardians of Outland actually going live on uh, November second which is just right around the corner. The uh, the end of uh, Spooky Festival is going to kind of butt up to the beginning of the Guardians of Outland. Of course, Time of the Fearless is going to be before that. And Time of the Fearless is going to overlap with Spooky Festival just a little bit. Uh, there's probably going to be an emerald sale during Time of the Fearless. It's going to be a great opportunity to buy some emeralds to spend during Guardians of Outland. Uh, Guardians of Outland has traditionally been one of the best events in all of Hero Wars Facebook and web. Uh, I'm curious if they're going to change it, like they upgraded Legacy of the Great Ones and other similar events. I kind of hope that they don't, but you know, if they do, it's gonna be a great place to spend emeralds. And then of course, uh, a new season, uh, it is the uh, champion season, which I absolutely love, it's my favorite season. The in reward of the, uh, the champion's gift at a minion, uh, is a great reward. So like a, it's like a seventy to eighty thousand emerald great you know grand prize. Uh, we're also going to get more mysterious magnifying glasses, whatever movement things for the uh, mysterious island. Uh, looks like there's going to be an emerald waterfall event going live on Hero Wars Facebook and web on the 29th through the fifth of November. That probably means that uh, times for buying emeralds is going to align with. Uh, you know, time of the fearless. Thanks to Loadrunner for providing these leaks. 1029 means that the Halloween, I'm sorry, Spooky Festival is still going to be live. Yeah, Spooky Festival ends on the uh, on the first, so you're still going to be able to take advantage of those tasks. Are there any tasks to buy emeralds? Just kidding. There's not actually any tasks to buy emeralds 
uh, during Spooky Festival, just um, just spending them. So I guess, you know, buy some emeralds, spend some emeralds, save some for Guardians of Outland, and you're going to be great. As a reminder, we are not live streaming. Usually we would live stream. The schedule's on screen now. We will be back on Monday. If you're interested in other things happening with Spooky Festival, check out the playlist that's on screen now. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.